to remember what she was like when we came out here. <laughs> How could I forget? Still a child, really. Look at her now. About to get married. I named this ship HMS Animal Hospital. Yay! Thank you! <laughs> Will somebody tell this animal she's not a dog? Oh, she's all right. <laughs> she hissed at a guest this morning because he sat in your chair. Can we eat breakfast now? Yes! <laughs> it worked out okay, didn't it? Just to start, Mr. Trevenia. Oh, it's not like the bloody queen is coming. You haven't met my mum, then. You promised me to look after him, dupe. I want him to love Leopard's Den. I'm a very busy man. They can look after themselves. Yes, he promises we will make them as welcome as we can. Oh, they'll be here soon. My very own in-laws. Oh, I can't wait. What's your father do, Max? He, uh, raises a few cars down the cave. A couple of bars. Huh. Rosie, this came for you from the university. Oh, God, this is it. Just remember, if you don't get an interview this year, you can always reapply next. Well? Ah, I've got an interview! Ah, with a bad degree! I can't believe I've got an interview! Ah. Good, good grief, woman. Look at it! My daughter, the vet, eh? Well, it's an interview, Dad. <laughs> Here they are! How's it, boy? Thanks, Have a good journey. Just well, take your luggage okay. up to the house, right? <laughs> How was Bristol? Oh, boy. So well, it's great to have you back. The animals so... have missed you. <laughs> Olivia's fallen in love. In love with who? With who, ma? I don't want to talk about it. It's private. Is he lush? Lush? I think that word went out with spats and plus fours. <laughs> <laughs> lush? Is that like a lawn? He's bad. Definitely fit. Home, James. It's so hot here. Yeah, it's been like this for months. Now, I want you two to be very careful. No fires, no glass bottles left outside. And repeat after me. If it's, it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down. Charming, I know, but we have to conserve water. Hey! Where's Max? Go safely tucked away. Then may I present the utterly gorgeous bride-to-be, Miss Rosie Trevanian. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. What do you think? If you weren't white, aren't you meant to feel good? Yeah, you look amazing, Rosie. Danny, will you tie this cheetah up? Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. I just want to thank you both for buying this. I know money's tight. Oh, it was our pleasure. Yeah, no daughter of mine's going to get married in dusty <laughs> khaki. Thank you, both of you. Danny, come in, Danny. Hello. Danny, Duke, go ahead. Yeah. Listen, stop looking at dresses, man. We got a problem here. You can't just put the fences back up without any consultation. I think you'll find I already have. The animals are already spooked because of the drought. I wanted to talk to you about your animals. What about them? Get them off moral land or lose them. Lose them too. I don't know yet. I'm selling Mara. Just when they were getting used to the space. Look at that go. It's going to put even more pressure on what little water we've got. Let's get them back to their old home. We should settle down. What's this? A little flat. Well, who the hell is it? Well, what's the animal? What's that freak inside? I'm stuck! I'm over the prayer! Oh, my God, it's my parents! They sent me now to make an entrance! Max! You mustn't see! 
Henry. Oh, hello, Henry. Hello. hello. My wife, Beth. I'm really sorry about the mess. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Hertford's Den. Thank, Thank you. Hi. I'm William. Hello, William. That's his brother. Wow. Well. Isn't it terribly bad luck for the groom to see the wedding dress? It's really lovely to meet you. The pleasure's all ours. How's the bar doing, Max? Just fine, thanks. <laughs> It's amazing, you know. He could have been running one of the biggest cattle ranches in the Western Cape, or one of my Cape Town restaurants. And instead, he chooses some dusty bar in the middle of nowhere. A couple of cows, I think you said. Please sit down. Wow! I promise you, I knew nothing myself until breakfast. He's decided to sell Mara. He says it's a liability. But he's not the only one involved. Oh, it's only ever him involved. Listen, I'm really sorry. I'm going to miss you. I thought that this was the place that I was going to put my roots down in and bring my kids over from England. Listen, what are you doing tonight? We're having a do for Rosie's hen night and we wonder whether you wanted to join us at Leopard's Den. Me? Yeah. Won't be anything special, just beer and biltong. My mother will probably get drunk and cry. Same old. I'd love to. <laughs> Great. Say. Yeah? Actually, why don't we have it here? What would Elliot say? Oh, he'd hate it. <laughs> so, you're marrying into money, Rosie. How fabulous. Caroline. Actually, she's not. When he turned his back on the family business, it turned its back on him. I had no interest in working for you. It's not the same thing. Come on, you two. <laughs> they always fight. Hey! Will you watch what you're doing? I'm sorry. Damn it, don't talk back. Just do your work. Give me that. I beg your pardon? Don't rise to his bed. Nobody talks to Numsa like that. Ah! Janet, behave! Oh, it's all right, she won't hurt you. Just don't let her smell your fear. So, how do you like your in-law so far? When were you going to tell me? Tell you what? Uh, that your dad owns half of Africa. Don't exaggerate. It doesn't bother me one way or the other. I just don't want us having secrets from each other. I should have told you. I'm sorry. Nothing else I should know about? Mm. Well... Out with it. I have another wife in Bulaway. <laughs> ah! One more thing, one more thing. What? I thought you looked beautiful in that dress, and I don't believe in superstition. It's going to be the greatest wedding ever. Mm -hmm. ah! 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 Now what? Max! Out, 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 out. Yes, out this way. Out, out, out. Oh. Any chance of another room? This one's got fleas. I just don't like him. I'm completely on Max's side. Oh, give him a chance. He's only been here five minutes. It can be very intimidating meeting all of us. He didn't hear how he spoke to Nobsa. Oh, but the wealthy have a different way of dealing with people. It is nothing to do with wealth. It's to do with the colour of Nobsa's skin. Rosie! Now, Sarah's right. Give the man a chance. A wedding is a great healer. Why on earth would I want to do that? Drink warm beer with people I don't know. Hmm? Because it's the night before my wedding and I'm asking you. Yeah, well, no thank you. It's a celebration. Why else are you here? Because your mother begged me. <sighs> you want something else, Dad. You know that. Look, Max, I know that we haven't always seen eye to eye. And whose fault is that? But to marry some impoverished English girl just to spite me. You know what? Consider that invitation withdrawn. What do you want me to do? Beg? I can beg. Don't throw your life away. Do I really need to spell it out? We are all guests here, and we will all behave. He'd better. Enough, Max. He's here, isn't he? Yes, unfortunately. And you, Henry? What? You will go to that stag, and you will enjoy it. Is that clear? <laughs> Don't tell me you bought me a brand new Aston Martin. We definitely can't tell you that. Oh. Yep, stay there. Okay, go Take on. the blindfold off. Ta -da! <gasps> oh my God, he's beautiful! <laughs> oh. 
It's yours. Mine? Trevanian and daughter. Veterinary practitioners. Are you kidding? Oh, my God! It's for when you graduate from college. I haven't even had my interview. It's in the bag. <laughs> Thank you. Lay it that way in the middle. Lovely, thank you. And make sure that the best champagne is on ice. Plenty of it. What's this? Oh, hello, darling. Just getting the place ready for Rosie Trevanian's hen do. What hen do? Oh, did I forget to tell you? Yes, we're throwing the Trevanian girls a little bit of a shindig. No, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. Look. Well, just remember we have guests. So, what do you think? <laughs> it's lovely. What do you think you look like? It's just a joke for Max's snack party. No, Mr. Krill doesn't know about that for Tani. You see, he hasn't been invited. You're not going. But you're not going. That's final. Oh, don't be petty, dear. They're my friends. And my commercial enemies. I forbid you from going. Is that clear? Just ignore him. He's pathetic. They look gorgeous. Come on, guys, free house. <laughs> all right, it's all in here. <laughs> Don't mind, do one mind. <laughs> wow. This <laughs> is the gin. Go, 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 well, at least you can't get strippers out here. <laughs> oh, I've got to put it past them. They're probably trying to get some poor wildebeest to struggle out of her skin as we speak. I can't believe I'm related to you. I tell you what they won't be doing. They won't be talking about us. I would like to propose a toast to Max. And if you end up half as happy in your marriage as I have been in mine... And I was in mine. Then you will be a very lucky man. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Are you married, Nom, sir? I used to be. What happened? He had a roving eye, so I told him to rove off and leave me in peace. <laughs> can't live with them, can't legally beat them to death. Oh, well, I'm so glad we decided to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well done. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I've got a torch. Hey. Uh, shh, shh, quiet. What? What is that? I'm not sure. Probably one of our animals. Yeah, they're all still a bit unsettled. Getting closer. Oh, poachers. Oh, no, no, no. We haven't had any poachers since we started on the animal hospital. Oh, they know there's a wedding on. They know there's expensive presents about. Oh, shut up, Dad. Oh, son. Don't show your yellow streak, not in front of your new friends. You need to lighten up, my friend. Oh, this country's going to the dogs. Ow! Here we are. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell do you think you're doing? Never leave home without it. Not in this country, boy. Your son's right. You're a bloody idiot. Hey! Tani? Whoa! Whoa. Oh, easy, easy. easy. You could have killed me. Hey! Who the hell is doing this shooting? My stupid father! Don't... Look at what you've done! Idiot! Noise down. Oh, look, the strippers arrived. Oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> Amy, can you help me tell the guests that there's no electricity? I'm sure they've worked that out for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> when are your kids coming out, Amy? It's under discussion. I'm not sure it's happening now that we're selling up. Oh, you must miss them. I really miss my babies when they were away. Oh, oh. I do. <laughs> Is it me? Or oh, has gross sentimentality just changed hands with a maudlin? What? <laughs> I should get home. Uh, I've got a big day tomorrow. Oh. I'll come with you. Would you know what I do when I'm in the maudlin? Oh, no, I don't. What do you mean?
you do? I like to step into circles with all my clothes on. It's cute. Ah! 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 A very, very quiet place here. Steady. Easy, Danny. I'm sorry. It's just I'm not used to operating on a shot zebra in the dark, wild drunk. It's a zebra. I don't know why you're bothering. I mean, one more shot, I can finish the thing off for you. We can get back to the beer. If I was you, I would keep my mouth firmly shut. Or Mr. Trevanian, he'll shoot you. Yeah, you have to fight me for the gun. <laughs> oh, don't do that, William. Why not? Why should we have all the fun? They're not used to it. Oh, it's Evan. I'm all right. Please don't, William. I thought I told you, little girl. I don't like being told what to do. You heard what she said. Stop. You want to fight, Trevanian? Evan! Oh, we good little boys and girls. <coughs> You're an idiot. What happened to you? Bit of a swim. <laughs> Your future father-in-law shot a zebra. <gasps> it is what? Henry. It was an accident. That's right. He thought it was a human being. What were you thinking? Zebra! He's not worth it. <laughs> this place is a bloody zoo. You're welcome to it. Just get out, Dad. I'm sick of the sights of you. I don't want you at the wedding tomorrow. Sir, have a nice night. Evan, huh? what's wrong? Uh, a bit of food poisoning, Uncle. <sighs> Drinking and smoking? What is your mother going to say? Oh, please don't tell her, Mum, sir. I don't want to spoil the wedding. Go to your rooms. Don't come out until tomorrow. And get a bucket. What's going on? Evan's drunk. What? He found some booze in the house and said we should drink it. Get out. I don't think that's true. What the hell is wrong with you? Nothing. If you were in my employment, you would be packing your bags right now. Well, I'm not in your employment. Hey, hey, hey. Don't you give me cheek, girl. My father would have had a, a shambok on your back for this. Hey, what do you want? Oh, Henry! Right, I think it's time we all went to bed. Sewing make do and mint. 
Have you not? It's ruined. I might as well just get married in my jeans and trainers. That's not going to happen. We'll think of something. Well, you better hurry up then. Oh, I could kill that cheetah. Nobza? Uh, you got a minute? Why aren't you dressed, old man? Don't fuss me. I'm not letting you embarrass me. There's a clean shirt on your bed. Your suit is hanging up in the... Just listen to me. Come, okay. Come sit down. You know, the day I married my wife was the happiest day of my life. I know. It seared on my mind every second, every image. I kept the, the, the invitations, the menus, uh, little bits of confetti. I even kept the shoes. <laughs> Thought maybe one day they'd remind me of my wedding. But I haven't needed them. Seems like it all happened yesterday. Yes. The answer is yes. You haven't even heard the question yet. She would be very proud of you. Yeah. Still don't believe in bad omens. Will's gone mad since she saw me in that dress. Not really. I believe I want to marry you and that's all I care about. I knew if I got my parents involved in any way, Dad would just try and sabotage this wedding. And I was right. He could drive a tank at me. He still won't stop me marrying you. lot to do. Your father has something to say to you. Look, I, I'm not going to pretend that this is what I want for you. I, I, I'm sure she's a lovely girl. Henry! Forget it, Mom. I'm not going to be a hypocrite. You can come to the wedding, Mom. You can't. Well, that suits me fine. I have another son. <sighs> What's it to be, Mom? If your father can't be there, then neither can I. Your choice. Beth, please be gone by the time I get back from the wedding. This one's lovely. No, oh, it doesn't matter. It does matter. You can't wear khaki in your wedding photos. Hello? Hello? I need to do your hair and nails. Have you got a magic wand in there? Why? The cheetah has ruined this wedding dress. Oh, you are kidding! Uh, Rosie? Not now, Anders. This is an emergency. I, I don't know if it'll do any good, but uh, it was worth quite a bit in its day. Uh, 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 I don't know much about women's fashions, you know. What are you trying to say? It was very beautiful back then. I, if it'll help... If What will help? Anders, spit it out, man. Belong to my wife. If it'll help at all. It's beautiful. I'd be very proud for you to wear it, Rosie. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stop being sentimental. You are a surprising man, aren't just you, Plessy? Hey, Will. I wanted to ask you something. Why are you going to marry her? Because I love her. Dad says you're making the biggest mistake of your life. Ah, don't let Dad dictate your life, Will. Because he will if you let him, and suddenly you won't be living your life. You'll be living his. That's why I went. I didn't want to. 
thought long and hard about leaving you. I had to. You only think about yourself. You always have done. Ah, oh, man. You're even starting to sound like him. Good. Come on, Will. It's my wedding day. I want you by my side. Tough. I'll be next to Dad. I see you here. I heard about the wedding dress. It was good of you. Yeah, it was nothing. What's wrong? Second thoughts? No, no. Thank God. The women here will have you hung, drawn, and courted. I just managed to fall out with my entire family. Uh, very impressive. <laughs> and on the day of your wedding, eh? So, I was going to ask my brother to be best man. No, good idea. You won't even come to the wedding. I'll be your best man, Max. It would be an honor. Really? Oh, thanks, Doop. Yeah, one condition. Name it. No bloody speeches. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I do. It's far too hot to be doing this. Oh, nonsense. We must have standards. There'll be zebras watching. Oh, I'm feeling really nervous. I didn't think I would be. That's the bride's prerogative. Wasn't it nice of Dup to do this? You know how he feels about his wife. It was very nice. He's such a sweet man. I'm surprised he's not spoken for. Ooh, Dad! Yeah, still got it. I'll see you later. Keep the suit on. Can I have a quick word? I just wanted to say that from the moment you were born, you've been the light of my life, Rosie. Dad. Uh, when your mum died, uh, I should have been the one looking after you, not the other way around. No, we got through it together. We always do. You are a remarkable woman. And you've made me today, without a shadow of doubt, Proudest man on this earth. Thanks, Dad. For everything. Love you. Love you. All set. All set. You nervous? I bet. Ah, uh, everything will be all right. I got married here myself once, long time ago. Marriage is good for you, Dip. You always speak so well of your wife. Yeah, and it'll be good for you. You're marrying one hell of a girl. Yeah, I know. Watch it, watch it, Dip. So, any fatherly advice I can give you? I don't think so, Dip. Not tonight, after the wedding. When a man and a woman really love each other, well, they... Just drive, please. <laughs> Oh, 
you go in the front. Easier. Oh. oh, let's go to a wedding. You all right, Evan? You look as white as a sheet. Georgie Oyster. I thought she was tied up. She was. I let her free. She wanted to come. Olivia! Come on, we're late. If she touches one guest... Hang on a minute. We didn't have oysters. everybody and welcome to this most magnificent setting here to witness the marriage of Max and Rosie. I once went to a wedding in St Paul's. Just so you know, this is the worst day of my life. We should never have come, I told you that. To not be allowed to attend my own son's wedding. Well, he's going to regret it for the rest of his life, if that's any consolation. Never been ashamed of being your wife, Henry. Today I am. I smell burning. Oh, they're probably firing up the bry for the party tonight. A party that we're not invited to. That's no bry. What is it? Come on. First, I am required to ask anyone here present who may know a reason why these two persons may not be lawfully married to declare it now. No? Good. Max's car is over there. What's the big rush? Max, will you take Rosie to be your wife? To love, comfort her, to protect and honor her, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. That bloody, bloody cheater! Uh, Sorry, Father. What the hell is he doing here? Stop! Just carry on, please. There's a bushfire heading for your house! What? Move! You're gonna lose everything! OK, let's oh, go. It's terrible! Oh, sorry, you two. Oh, 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 everyone, back to your vehicles. Let's drive back to Lovely Let's go, let's go! Oh, 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 oh. Still don't believe in omens? Never. Tomorrow, warn them. Water, buckets, run, run. Quick, come on. Help us, buckets. Quickly. Come on, kids. And play the pump in the back there. And get the fire beaches. Honey. Go, just go. Yeah! 
Rushing into burning animal paints. Oh, well, they, get <laughs> they ran off into the bush. They're gonna be fine. You just take it easy, will you? That was quite a bang on the head. Dad, I'm fine. Really, you get back to the fire. Max, stay with her, yeah? If she starts to feel dizzy, if she starts to feel sick, come and get me straight away. We've got... Please don't go. We... Fatani, make sure everyone is accounted for. We want no mistakes. I've got to start carrying the fire brakes already. Good. Sir, ma'am, look, we... Stop! Oh. 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 Fill this bucket up. We've got to wet this area down, all right? Water. We're not giving up. OK? Oh. It's too hot. Trevanian, get back, man! Get out of here! Get the hell out of here! There's nothing you can do! Move it! Move it! Daddy! Oh, I'm sorry, love. We built it once, we can build it again! He's heading for the house! Sarah, we better move these vehicles. Right. Duke, we've got to get to the animal pens. Everyone, just keep watching it all down. Rosie! Come here, Dad. Get back. Get back. Come on, Cal. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, my Cal. There we go. Bring it back. Yeah! Dad! Come on, get the houses in. Get the buckets, get the buckets. Come on, come on. Come here, come here, come here. It's Come on, Dad. Evans, come on. Come on, Go, 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 there's no more water! No more water! Right! I want everyone to try! Pick up bottles of water! Anything you can get your hands on! Come on, back in the house! It's coming here! Where are you going? Away from here! If the wind changes direction, the fire could reach us! Exactly! So we stay here and look after Mara! What are you gonna do? Wave your nail polish at it? No! 
I'm going to stay here and set an example to the staff. Don't talk nonsense, woman. Get in the car. No, I will not. Fine. Then stay here and take your chances. If you leave now, don't bother coming back. Fatani, let's go. I'm staying here, Mr. Creel. I'm staying with Mara. thing I've ever seen. Oh, well, we may be out of water, but there's a very cheeky crate of champagne in the fridge. <laughs> oh. How's your wedding day been so far? Uh, interesting. <laughs> that fire's going to be someone else's problem now. Yeah, our dating southeast. Towards the Mara fences. The animals running away from the fire. They're going to get caught in the fence. Sarah, we're going to knock the fences down. Save the animals. I'm coming too. Stay with the kids. They're my animals too. We want to help. Stay here. I'm hunting down as many things. A coward wasn't one of them. Better a live mouse than a dead lion. Mr. Creel, Danny says the animals are getting driven towards our fences, and if we don't get them down, they will die. Down at the star. But, sir? You're the one who wanted to stay. You sort it out. as big a gap as possible so the animals can see it. Max, Rosie, come straight down from there and then we'll pull it to either side. You took your time, didn't you? How long have we got? Any second now! Let's go! I never liked this, fences. Evan! Evan! What are you doing? The animals too. Get back to the house. I'll take them. Evan. It's too late. Yeah, they can. Pull the fence back this way, men. Everyone back behind the vehicles. Get yes. back behind the car now. Come on. Get back. Get back. Oh, God. Yes. Get it on. Get to the car. Wild at Heart video previews and to catch up on all the show news, log on to itv.com slash drama. And talking of drama, that's an understatement really, isn't it? As we head back to the arena, one couple must go. Dancing on ice, the skate-off is next here. Then shady dealings for Lewis to investigate at nine.